Let's do some examples with electric fields. So first of all, what's the electric potential? Remember what that is? What letter is that? Electric potential is VE. Uh, what is that? At a distance of 2.2 meters away from a point charge of 0.39 nanocoulombs. Well, it helps to get the right equation. So I need to find that equation, and it goes like this. You can look it up. It's just KQ over R. It is extremely simple. Then it's just a put in the numbers, and away you go. So let's see. So this uh, K is 8.99 times 10 to the 9. Uh, Q will be that charge, so it's going to be 0 0.39. And remember what a nano is. It's 10 to the minus 9. And I'm going to divide all that by 2.2. .2. I'll just use my calculator, and away I go. All right, so if I do that, let's see, I'll just need a fraction here. And I'll say, okay, it's going to be 8.99 times 10 to the 9, all that times 0 0.39 times 10 to the minus 9. All that divided by 2.2, .2, and I end up with an answer of 1.59368. Now if I want that to, let's see, three significant figures, I'll say VE then is going to be approximately 1 point, let's see, this will be a 5.9, it'll stay that way, so it'll be 1.59, and remember it's in volts, because it's an electric potential. And there we go, that's it. That actually wasn't so bad. Now here's one that looks way worse. But I'll tell you what, it's actually not nearly as bad as it seems, okay? These are very, very common on exams, that's why I put this one. So, we have a charge of two coulombs, uh, and it's moved from point A. You have to imagine some made-up place. So there's a made-up place called A, and there's a made-up place called B. And what happens? It goes from A to B, and then what happens? Then it goes back to A again. Now we know the electric potential at A is going to be plus 20. Um, so what is this? This is VE here. Uh, that's plus 20 at A, and then at B, it's going to be minus 30. Um, so what's the work done? It helps to know, first of all, what's the equation for work done. It goes W equals Q times delta VE. That's the equation we're going to need. I'll maybe just write it with that so it's clearer. So let's actually calculate this. So to do this, let's see, I'll go W equals, well, I've got Q, which is the charge. That's 2 coulombs. I'll put that. And now I've got a change in electric potential. Now it goes from B to A. So that means your final position is going to be A. So I'm going to say VA minus VB. Now, I should have done VEA minus VEB, but I just skipped the E's. So this is, that's because, you know, when you go from B to A, you always take your final position minus the first one, okay? So that's what I'm going to do here. In this case right here, let's see what I get. I get 2 times, and let's see, VA is plus 20, okay? And I have to do minus, and this is at minus 30. So that is the only kind of slightly sneaky part of just being really careful with your units here and with your signs. Well, uh, 20 minus minus 30 is 20 plus 30, which is 50. And 2 times 50 is 100. So that means the work done is just going to be 100 joules. And we're done. So that's actually not so bad at all. Now for the last part right here, let's work it out here. So let's say, what's the total work done? Well, let's see. Remember, the equation is going to be W equals Q times you know, delta VE. And what's the total work done? Well, let's see. It starts at A. And when we say total work done, well, remember, it went from A to B back to A again. So that means really, if I wanted to do this, I would say, okay, that means it would be Q times VA, that's the final point, minus VA, the start point. Because remember, it started here, it went to B, sure, but it finished here. It started at A, and it finished at A. Remember, because I said it went from A to B, then back to A. So that means if it goes from A to A, well, this right here then is just going to cross out, won't it? Just give you zero. So that means the work done then will be zero. Well, so I said it's a trick question, right? Because it starts and finishes at the same point. If it did that, that means delta VE is zero. And that means then that the work done is zero, since it's times, so right? It's multiplied by. There we go.